so mm, good morning students so today i'm going to explain class 6 exercise 6.2 continuation this is part 2 i'm going to explain this is part 2 first of all i read the questions and i'll explain that first questions oh, what is the sum of any two integers first main is given that so what is the sum of two two sum of any two odd numbers first one is and second one is even number next solution first one i'll go to explain odd numbers odd numbers i wrote short form so odd numbers what we have to take these are the two prime numbers that is 3 plus 5 these are the odd numbers what we are getting 3 plus 5 is 8 what we got even number so what we are getting here even number so two odd we have done that sum then we got a even number right so similarly or example one more i will take 7 plus 9 what we will get that is 16 16 is also what we are getting we are getting a even number right similarly the second one even number second one b1 even number we have to take even numbers even numbers so what are the two even numbers we have to take and submit 2 plus 4 both are even numbers what is the answer we are getting that is for 6 uh, 6 that is for even number similarly or one more i will take so 4 plus 6 what we will get that is for 10 that is also a even number so we are getting the both that is for even you see first one odd numbers if you add then we will get that is for 8 that is for even number and similarly if you take uh, two even numbers the answer is also we are getting that is for even only so next question so i'm going to second main state whether the following statements are true or false true or false is asking true or false right so first one is given 3 plus 5 plus 4 is equal to e to 1 3 plus 5 that is the given that is that what we are getting that is even even value they already given in the question this is odd value right so what you are getting 3 plus 5 plus uh, 4 we get na 8 8 plus 4 12 that is even that is true that is true second one 3 into 9 12 9 the 108 108 into uh, 3 9 is 27 27 into 12 uh, 3 into 7 into 9 so if you multiply this 3 into 7 into 9 we have to multiply so we will get 3 into 7 into 9 if you multiply we will get 189 and 3 7 is 21 21 into uh, 21 into 9 if you multiply we will get 189 that is odd number that is also what we are getting that both are true only okay similarly one more i will take c1 36 divided by 2 is given 3 answer is given 3 so 2 1s are 2 1s are 2 again how many left here 1 1 and 6 is 16 16 2 years are 16 answer should come that is for what 18 should come that answer we are getting that value is that is for 3 this is false this is given wrong answer one more and that is and 2 is also not odd number 2 is also not a odd number we are not getting that okay so next question i will go to the next main so third i am going to explain the number 13 and 31 are prime numbers already we know that so both these numbers have same digits 1 and 3 1 and 3 find such pairs of prime numbers up to 100 up to 100 right so here i am going to explain what is that means a b is equal to b a both are we will get like that and c d is equal to d c like that we have to take the number examples right and from which are the prime numbers we will get from from the given up to 100 up to 100 which prime numbers are there we have to take 
that exactly it should come the similar ones right uh, so what numbers it will come for example answer which are the prime numbers which have similar to that see i will tell 13 and 31 should not take so the prime numbers are first 17 the repeat ones what it will come 71 17 is also 71 is also prime number like that only then 37 and one more is 73 this is also one prime number 79 another one is 97 these are the reverse pair of uh, these are the reverse pair of prime numbers from from 1 to 1 to 100 these are the prime numbers 17 that reverse is 71 37 and the reverse is 73 79 is the reverse of so that is for 97 these are the prime numbers we will get from the from, from 1 to 13 like that 13 and 31 both are also is there but we will not include in these questions already they given the pair the, so that's why we will not include the next number we will take here from the given numbers so 17 and 71 37 and 73 79 and 97 next question i am going to explain for the question number uh, question number 4 composite numbers from uh, numbers less than less than 200 less than 20 right so what are the prime numbers are will be there from prime numbers so write down the separately we have to make separate the prime numbers and composite numbers less than 20 so i will write that here answer prime numbers from 1 to 20 prime numbers prime number prime number what are the prime numbers from 1 to 20 1 to 20 is 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 so the prime numbers are 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 and 19 so we got these prime numbers from 1 to 20 they given from less than 20 only they given less than 20 the composite numbers are 4 6 8 9 10 12 14 15 16 and 18 right exactly we got this next question i am going to what is the greatest prime number between 1 to 10 what are the prime numbers between 1 to 10 2 3 5 7 these are the prime numbers 9 is not prime numbers only 2 3 5 and 7 and he is asking greatest prime number greatest prime number which is the greatest prime number 7 therefore 7 is greatest prime number greatest prime number right next i am going to explain the question number 6 main so question number 6 the main express the following as the sum sum means what we are to take sum means addition sum means addition sum of two odd numbers sum of two odd numbers right express the following as the as the sum of two odd numbers right first one we have to take that is given what they given what we have to take first one question should be given so that is 44 how to expand this we have to expand with a prime numbers only so i will take 3 plus 41 3 is also prime number and 41 also prime number if we add that both what we will get this is for 44 only similarly i'll go i'm going to explain the 36 second one so which type of two prime numbers we have to take to split that 36 that is 5 plus 31 5 is also prime number and 31 is also a prime number similarly the third one c 24 which are the two prime numbers we have to take any prime numbers we have to take we can add sum of odd numbers only we have to take odd numbers that is 5 plus 19 both are odd numbers 19 plus 5 we will get 24 only similarly d1 that is 18 should be given 
18. What are the prime numbers? 5 plus 13. 13 plus 5 both are odd numbers. Then we got exactly the value of the given according to the given odd numbers. Right? And next I am going to explain the next question. So the question number 7. Try to understand. Give 3 pairs of pairs. Pairs means 2. Couple. Pairs just as right and left are men and women. These are the pairs of two of uh, three pairs of prime numbers whose difference is two we have to take prime numbers what we have to take prime numbers first one a1 i will explain here listen so so three and five three and five they both are prime numbers then 5 minus 2 difference means subtraction we have to do difference is 2 then 5 minus 3 is 2 understood both are prime numbers if you subtract the both numbers the answer should come 2 like that we have to take then we 5 minus 3 if it will come 2 only then similarly b1 7 and 5 they both are prime numbers only 7 minus 5 what it will come they both are prime numbers only and the difference will come to only similarly the third one third one is 13 and 11 both are prime numbers only and what we are getting 13 minus 11 we got two the three answers also we are getting two to only the difference is two difference is two difference is two i am going to next question so question number eight which are the following numbers are prime we have to we have to pick from the which are the prime numbers this is 23 is a prime number this is not a prime number and 37 is also prime number and 84 is not a prime number understood so they are asking which are the following numbers are prime number so 20 is a, 23 is a prime number 42 is not a prime number and 37 is also prime number and 84 is also a prime number so next question i am going to explain question number ninth one so the question number nine write seven consecutive composite numbers less than 100 so that there is no prime numbers between them right what is the difference between that from what is that from two three four five these are the prime numbers 11 11 13 how many difference 13 13 after 17 how much difference is there 13 14 15 16 17 only three difference but seven consecutive want less than how many maximum it was coming there is a hundred less than what are the coming question in that question so uh, 13 after 19 2 difference 19 plus uh, 19 20 21 22 23 only 3 23 after 24 25 26 27 28 29 5 only the difference between the prime numbers is 5 only maximum what is there the maximum number is what we are getting means see here i will explain in that answer solution so from from 1 to 100 the given 100 will be the given from 89 to 97 will come more that is what are the get, getting the numbers means this see the numbers 90 91 these are the composite numbers they are told composite numbers not prime numbers there is no prime number should be between them understood 91 92 93 94 95 96 how many prime number how many numbers are there composite numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 there are 7 composite numbers 7 composite numbers this is the short form of numbers and don't get confusion understood these are the 7 composite numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 these are the 7 composite numbers are there between them in between the 1 to 100 and the these are not prime numbers they told there is no prime numbers between the composite numbers from 89 is a prime number and 97 is a prime numbers but in between the numbers should come only that is for composite numbers should come these are the composite numbers we are taken here Next question I am going to explain.
will read the question see here express question number 10 express each of the following numbers as the sum of three odd number odd primes we have to do sum but three odd prime numbers so what we will get see the first question is given for us that is 21 right first question is given in that 21 i will expand that with including the odd numbers also and it is also as a prime numbers right just i will take the plus 3 plus 5 plus 13 these are the odd and also prime numbers if we add this 13 plus 5 18 18 plus 3 that is 21 exactly according to the question that is odd and prime odd also and prime numbers also so similarly i will do that b1 that is 31 31 is 31 is a prime number so we can open that three odd prime numbers 3 plus 5 plus 23 these three also we are getting prime numbers we have to find out that is also odd and prime and similarly third one i will see 53 what we have to take this i will make group of separate so 3 plus 7 plus 43 this 3 also we are getting the prime numbers as well as the odd numbers also and d1 i will try to explain and d so 61 is given so what we have to take 3 plus 5 plus 53 these three also odd and prime numbers also got it so next i am going to explain 11th main so listen here question number 11 write five pairs of prime numbers less than 20 and whose sum sum means we have to add whose sum pair means two we have to take two prime numbers and add that that and after that we have to divide by five which is divisible by five did you got understood i will take first one what the numbers are given from 1 to 1 to 20 only less than 20 only we have to take understood after that see first a1 i will take 3 and 7 3 and 7 we have to take we add it 3 plus 7 what we will get 10 10 is divisible by 5 or not which is divisible by 5 exactly so we can divide by 5 5 to the 10 exactly we got 0 0 exactly which is divisible similarly i will do the next second one c b1 so 2 and 3 we have to take what 2 plus 3 what we are getting what we will get 5 which is divisible by 5 exactly yes 5 ones are 5 ones are we will get here after that c1 total they given five pairs c1 3 and 17 so 3 plus 17 what we will get 20 which is divisible by 5 which is divisible by 5 next d1 what is d1 7 and 13 they both are also prime numbers and that is also we will get that is 7 plus 13 that is also we will get 20 which is divisible by 5 and e1 last question 11 and 19 this is also both prime numbers total we will get 30 17 11 plus 19 both we if we add 11 mm -hmm. plus i will write it 11 plus 19 both if we add we will get 13 30 which is divisible by 5 exactly divisible by 5 we got it next question number what is the question number question number 12 will be there uh, only fill ups are there i will explain 12 mean fill and fill in the blanks are there okay a number which has only two factors is called what are the two factors what we will get the two factors we know that what are the two factors already we know that what two factors are there see here two factors means one into three or 
3 into 1, these are the factors only, this is also prime number, this is also same prime number, only two factors, what are that? This is a prime number, the answer is prime number, prime number. Next question, a number which has more than two factors is called what? What is that? Composite numbers. Composite numbers. Composite numbers. Okay. Question number third. I am going to explain. Listen. A1 is neither prime number. One is not. One is neither prime number nor nor composite number. Right? Composite number. One is neither. One is neither prime number nor composite number. Next question. A smallest prime number is what? Smallest prime number. One is not a prime number. Or composite number also. What is the smallest prime number? Two. Two is the smallest prime number. And the smallest composite number also is what? One is not composite and prime number. And composite also we will get the even number that is for two only. Right? And, and what is the smallest even number that is not prime number this is a prime number but composite number is also uh, the, sorry this is a 4 is a uh, composite number 2 is a prime number 4 is a composite number the smallest even number is what is the smallest even number 2 is the smallest even number got it this exercise and this chapter I have finished and notes also I will send it and if anything doubt you can ask me in the, you have to come and ask me okay thank you for watching